my wife laughing in the background. Buy me some board games and Cracker Jacks. <laughs> I don't care if I win or lose in an attack. The terrible rhyming there. Hey, as you can see, this show is completely scripted. Welcome once again to another Game Master Dave's live show right here on the Long Island Tabletop Streaming Network. So let's level up. Uh, can you guess what game I'm featuring tonight? I have featured it once before, but on my show that I did on Facebook, and it is in preseason baseball right now. I'm super excited. I'm a Yankees fan. I know a lot of people don't like the Yankees. I just played, uh, hey, Bill, nice to see you. I just got off of playing Vassal with my friend Anthony, some Stratomatic baseball. Uh, so uh, it's heavy baseball season right now. It's uh, preseason. I'm listening to baseball games on the, on the radio. And uh, I heard that uh, most um, stadiums this year uh, at least at the beginning, are are doing like 10 or 20% capacity. So the stadiums are actually going to have people in them following a whole bunch of coronavirus rules and regulations. Uh, so, But I'm super excited about uh, going with this game right now. I'm also playing Twilight 2000, uh, D&D, uh, Call of Cthulhu, all role-playing games. Um, we were just talking earlier via chat that we've got a Charterstone um, uh, group that we haven't met with for quite some time. Uh, so we got to get Charterstone uh, started up again. That's a very, very interesting game. And I'm also playing Dominions 5, Stellaris, Close Combat on the computer. My goodness, what am I doing? I, 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 that's a, this is great. So uh, welcome. Uh, please send me what you've been uh, playing recently. Love to hear about it in chat. Uh, please tell people about this show on Wednesday night, 10 p.m. We talk board games. Uh, also, uh, give us a follow. If you haven't followed us yet, we'd love to... Uh, We'd love for you to follow uh, Monday, Wednesday, and Friday morning at 6.30 in the morning. We talk games or just about anything else on our Over Coffee show. All right, let's get right into it, right to the crack of the bat for what we are covering tonight. Tonight we are going to cover, um, uh, tonight we are, oh, I didn't switch the camera. Tonight we are going to cover Baseball Highlights 20, hey, Lammy, you helping out? Thank you. Baseball Highlights 2045. It's a home run of a game, let me tell you. Let me tell you. We're going to round the bases tonight. Okay, so Baseball Highlights based off of... You may never have heard of this game. I think it's a very, very uh, niche market. Yes, L uh, Lammy, what position did you play um, in high school? Oh, shortstop. Oh, really? I, 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 I would have expected you to be a catcher or... First baseman. Okay, all right, all right. there you go. Hey, you learn something new about your family every day, right? <laughs> Especially during the pandemic. Okay, uh, Baseball Highlights 2045 is rated by BoardGameGeek.com at 7.5. Yes, Bill says it's a great game. He has played this before. Um, it is ranked overall out of like 100,000 games on, um, on uh, BoardGameGeek.com. It's ranked number 463. That is unbelievably awesome. Thematic for, I guess, sports games, it's ranked number 96, and Strategy 268. Um, it came out in 2015. It, you, it, look, you can play, uh, there's a solitaire element. It's uh, one to four players, ages nine and up, which is great. 45 minutes uh, per game. Uh, weight is 2.21 which is out of five, which is really not that bad. Uh, designer is Mark Fitch, uh, Mike Fitzgerald, I'm sorry. Uh, artist is uh, William Bricker, uh, Franz uh, Volvinker, and publisher is Eagle Griffin Games. Um, so, uh, what's really interesting about this game, this is like a two player board set up, uh, facing each other, um, is that it is a deck building game. I have the hand of this player. This is New York. Uh, it starts with four teams, uh, and there's uh, like a base team. Uh, the thing that's really cool about this game is it's a deck building game. Now it is designed to play uh, basically a series, a best of seven series to play the game. That is sort of how it is set up. But in between each game, you get to buy from the free agent deck uh, to try to increase um, increase what uh, you know make your deck better and better. Hey, we just got a couple more viewers, so we're covering baseball highlights twenty forty five since the baseball season is coming up. And so it, you want to try to win uh, the best of three uh, games. Now, you have every uh, deck that you make has 15 cards. Uh, they're each of players. 
and I've simulated a hand draw. We're not going to cover all the rules, but we're just going to give you an idea, a uh, sample of how to play. Um, you will see on each card there is like the, uh, you'll see over here there's a little green number. We'll, we'll talk about that a little bit later on. This is their buying power. Um, and then there's natural. So this is baseball highlights 2045. The, the game is only, each game of baseball that you play, you're only playing six cards for the whole game. Now we know that baseball can sometimes be long drawn out and a little bit boring. That's why it's called highlights. Each one of these cards, essentially the six cards, uh, playing it is essentially like, if I play this, it's not necessarily the first inning. Uh, you know, it might be a a highlight of a or a hit in the second inning or the third inning. It's very abstract. You're just playing three, uh, six cards for essentially simulating a nine inning game. These are the exciting things that happen. The six events that you're trying to to score some runs with. That's that's the abstract uh, theory behind it. So, uh, but um, you essentially have 15 cards in your team, and so you shuffle them up and you draw six. This is your starting hand. And then in your next game, you're going to play with the next six off of here. I'll show you that in just a second. So in, in order to play a card, um, going back to the card, you've got, this is, uh, you know, the future, right? So we've got natural players, but we also have cyborg players, right? So they're players that are half, half, uh, and we've also got robot players. So we've got robot, cyborg, and naturals. And, and that is almost like a... Um, that is almost like a, uh, a, a rock, paper, scissors kind of thing. You can build your deck to have more natural players if you want to, or you can build your deck to get more robot players out. It just depends on who you're playing, maybe. If, if the other team is buying a lot of robots, you want to have anti-robot kind of cards, and there's a few things that you can do with that. The other things you need to pay attention to on the card is uh, down here. Oh, my phone is, my phone is trying to focus. Is... Um, what is this? This is a single. This player, if you play this card, you threaten a single. And then there's a type of runner. So you have uh, F for fast, A for average, and S for slow. So this would be threatening a, a single with an average runner. So let's play that card. So I'm the visitor team, so I'm going to play a card first. So I play this card, and an average runner is represented by, um, by a, blue, uh, a blue pawn. So I am threatening a single with an average runner. Now the opposing team gets to play a card. Okay, so we got here, they could play this card. This box is an immediate action box. This would happen right away. So they can cancel a hit. So he's threatening a hit. So just for gameplay, just so you can see what happens, is I will play this card and I will cancel one hit. So now this threatened run goes away. And then they will threaten a, thank you, Lammy, for handing that to me. They will threaten a single with an average runner. And then the gameplay goes back over here to New York. Now, I've got another immediate action box here, like walk, chains all hits to walks. Well, that's a single anyway, so that doesn't really uh, happen that, that well. That not that important. Double play, remove up to two base runners. No fast runners. So uh, there's only one base runner, so we're, and there's actually nobody on base, essentially. So let's now play this home run card. So now what I'm going to do here is I'm going to play my second card and I'm going to threaten a home run with an average runner. Okay. I didn't cancel any hits. So once I put this down, then this threat on the opposing team happens. So now he runs to first base. This is upside down because of this opposing view. Okay. So that's how you get a runner uh, on base. Uh, uh, oh, you only play this one time, Rich. Oh, yeah, we should play it some more. It's a fun game. Um, so now um, this guy's threatening a home run. So look, this guy doesn't have any immediate action boxes to cancel that hit. So here's where the strategy comes in. You should have saved that cancel one hit one for you know a better, you know, this guy's threatening a home run. The last one was just a single. This would be the time to play this card. So there is some agency in this and in, in when you play cards and what you do. So he hit home run. So heck, I'm going to use this guy to threaten a home run. So that's the card I play. I'm threatening a home run with an average runner. But now what happens is then these threatened things happen. Do, 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 do. I'm running around the bases. I'm running. Yay! Give us some high fives and we go up one nothing. 
Okay, and then I play another card. So I'm not going to continue going through that. We're just doing overviews on these uh, uh, live shows on Wednesday nights. So that, that's how the card play works. Now, what happens next? Okay, at the end of the game, I've played all six cards. I get to count up my cards. I lay them all out, whatever I played. There, there's possibilities to play more cards if you go into extra innings and a whole bunch of other things. We're not going to cover those rules. And we count up these green numbers that I said we would cover. So we got two, we got three total, we got four total, we got five total, we've got uh, seven total. Then you take turns buying free agents, and the cost of the free agent is what is in this red box. So we've got seven, so we can't buy uh, this guy, Ty Terry. He, he caused eight, so we can't get him. But um, look at this one. We could possibly get him, or we could get uh, Moose Giambi. Cancel one hit and our threaten home run. Or this guy is cancel one hit and threaten two singles and fast runners. So maybe we'll buy this one. Now the cool thing is, is when I buy this card, I have, well, a bad thing is, is I got to send somebody to the minor leagues. Because remember the deck can only be 15 cards. So we'll, won't, we'll we're going to send that guy to the minor leagues. But the guy that I just bought, where's the guy that I just bought? <laughs> oh, here he is. Uh, <laughs> the guy that I just bought goes onto the top of the deck. And once we both have purchased our free agents, then you draw six cards from the top of the deck for your next for your for the next game. By the way, let's say we won this game one nothing. The game is basically uh, playing the best series out of seven. So I definitely get the new guy that I just purchased in the second game. Uh, and that's basically it. There's lots of other rules. And the other thing that's really neat is there's like 12 expansions to this game. There is, I think, stadiums and coaches and uh, expansion teams and, and managers. And just add all these other uh, cards for different gameplay, both free agent and also in the starter decks. A uh, lot of fun, right, Lammy? That's right. It's a lot of fun. A lot of fun. Baseball highlights 2045. If you're a ba even if you're not a baseball fan, the strategy of card play and deck building uh, can be a lot of fun. So I highly recommend you try this out uh, the next time you can. All right, cool. So um, then I will also run through my little uh, glibs here, my little advertising glibs. Um, yes, that is right, Bill. The of course the weaker human players are worth more points. <laughs> yes, I guess I haven't noticed that, but maybe uh, maybe that's true. Cool. Email me with any comments, questions, concerns, or call me. Um, uh, ideas, uh, suggestions. Um, uh, also, here are three stores we support on Long Island. Cosmic Comics in Baldwin, Legendary Realms in Lindenhurst, and Main Street Board Game Cafe in Huntington. Um, call those numbers. Freeze this video if you want to write down those numbers uh, to see if they've got a game you're interested in or see what their hours are or see what they're doing. I know Main Street Board Game Cafe um, has got a lot of cool, interesting events that they've run recently. Uh, so what did Ginger say here? And if your husband is a skilled and avid player, thank you, honey. You could practice on your own before starting him with your mad baseball skills. Startling him with your mad baseball skills. Yes, it is solitary. You can practice. I got a semi-daily blog at GameMasterGames.com. Ginger's business is starting to pick up. She's a wedding officiant, if you don't know that. Um, she's got a couple bookings for 2022 and even uh, one or two for 2021. Uh, small event still, but uh, as you may or may not know, um, you know, the coronavirus numbers are actually, they're not going down too much. New York and New Jersey have high infection rates right now, but uh, they are still falling overall and more vaccines is getting out. So Ginger's business will definitely pick up. If you know anybody getting married, hey, check out our website, Joyful Day Ceremonies, or have them check out their website, Joyful Day Ceremonies. You can find us at an Over Coffee show I mentioned. There's my YouTube channel, Patreon, Twitter, Instagram, Twitch, and Board Game Geek. And my goodness, what is it? What is it? Uh, let me finish the song. Uh, take me out to the ball game. Take me out to the crowd. That's right, Lammy. Buy me some peanuts and Cracker Jacks. I don't care if I never get back. Uh, oh, yes, I do need to get back. I, I, I have work tomorrow. Hi, Chester. <laughs> All right. Give yourself 100 experience points for... Uh, Can I come, come too if you're bringing the kids? Oh, of course, honey. Of course. And you want some Cracker Jacks? No, you don't want Cracker Jacks. Uh, uh, <laughs> hey, Chester. Uh, give yourself 100 experience points. Please? 
Yes, that's right. Play. Play ball. Play ball. Play ball. <laughs> oh my gosh. What is happening here? Until we meet again across the internet. Uh, hey, somebody just joined us for the craziness at the end of the show. Make sure you check it out. Oh, Snuggle Bunny just got thrown out at first base. <laughs> oh, you want to find the baseball? Until we meet again across the internet, uh, keep your uh, keep your playbooks dry. You need those playbooks dry. Keep your bat bats ready <laughs> and your bench players strong. Have a great or your free agents strong. Have a great night. Thank you so much. Bye bye.